So I have a problem with most YouTubers, and the problem is, is like this whole Philip DeFranco thing that happened not too long ago, really, really brought it to light. Um, I saw other big YouTubers do things like this, but I'm gonna start with him, and I'm gonna try to do this fast because I want to make this video a little lot shorter than like 10 minutes. But basically, Philip DeFranco lied to his fans multiple times. The first time he did it was a video called "Their YouTube is shutting me down." First off, YouTube doesn't need to like you know it's not shutting you down. It's either YouTube has shut you down, at which point that video would not go up, or YouTube is considering it. But they're not shutting you down. They're not slowly phasing it out. It's just you're gone. And that's a lie. Then he said it's because I'm offensive. That was a lie. He knows the reason why, and it's because they're trying to cut down on drama videos. And there's a lot of channels that are just drama videos who made a huge stink over it, of course. And then the third one is he says it's because. You know, they're trying to then censor me. And it's like, that's not true. Just like you know, because a lot of people, just I've seen videos pop up where it's like censorship in modern history and censorship in media and blah, blah. Here's the thing. YouTube, you agreed that YouTube doesn't have to pay you if they don't want to. YouTube isn't paying you for your stupid little drama videos. And now you're upset. And that's it. And the reason why is because drama brings in the money. And that, I think, is the main problem here is too many people are now making money from simplistic, stupid shit. And their lifestyles are now, accu they're now accustomed to those stupid right, let's go. lifestyles those i can <clears throat> basically just make a video on the internet and do whatever i want and say whatever i want and i can just get i get money. money i'm oh i'm the best like it's and they're and with that money and with that sort of thing comes ego and that's what these people are is they're they're money they're a personality they're an ego and i understand the whole you're selling yourself on the youtube so, videos but why are we in hell this time like, that's not a product I want. What's the and it's not a product she anyone should want. I mean, look at the Philip DeFranco videos. I saw some of them. Like, I went through the list, and it was just, like, video after video of, like, this YouTuber said this. Watch this person get stuck up by this YouTuber. Oh, this... And it's, it's the equivalent of a paparazzi video I once saw. I was leaving my house once, and TMZ had just come on, and it was, like, two minutes or something like that. I didn't even see the whole thing. I mean, I left pretty fast, but it was just, like, these people talking about someone eating a hamburger. That was it. That was the entire video. It was a celebrity eating a hamburger, and they were talking about it like it was some sort of big deal. It's not. What one YouTuber says to another YouTuber? I don't give a shit. They're all, like, egotistical, selfish assholes. Then there's, um... Right, so there's that. Then you get things, like, and continue with that, you get this guy, um... Fauci. Fauci and they were quiet, not bad. is, I, I guess, like, I guess he's a vlogger or a prank YouTuber or something like that. But I saw a video that was, like, I was going to see, like, I was going to be like, ah, oh, let's see what YouTube trending actually has in it. And it was this guy going, like, it was him going, I'm breaking down in this video. Oh, it's so sad. My life is so sad. Tears come out of my face holes. And then he, you know, he was in tears about how people are treating him like a douchebag and people are mean to him. And he does all this stuff for the fans and he's out there for the fans and people are mean to him about it. And he doesn't like that. And it hurts his feeling. And it's just like, okay, listen up, buddy. You're delivering this entire speech in an RV that looks nicer than any house I've ever lived in. Hell, it looks all nicer than just about every house I've ever been in my entire life. And I'm 30, mind you. And this guy's RV looked amazing. So already... You're losing my sympathy. Secondly, you said it was for your fans. In the description of the video, there was a links to Ticketmaster where you could buy tickets to meet him. You're not doing that for your fans, then. You're doing it for the money, you dumbass. And then I went through a few of his videos in his history. He has a video that's like, look how much money I have. Oh, I'm a millionaire. Did you know that? Look at all these people I've met. Oh, here's a celebrity hanging out with me. Look at this house I just bought. Your entire life is based off of just showboating money. What the fuck was that? You're a pile of shit. You are a douchebag. You're an asshole and you are an egotistical, self-centered cunt. And it's like, that's it. That's all I got. Like, you're a piece of shit. You do deserve this. You do, get, like, not the money. You deserve to get treated like shit because you're an asshole. And you act like that. It's like, okay. So, someone said something that upset you and hurt your feeling. And now, instead of you know, trying to be a better person, you cry about it so other people will be like, that guy's a dick, you're in the right, here's more money. That's what you're doing. You're not doing stuff for your fans, you're doing it for yourself. And then you, like, brag about it. He's the kind of guy, like, okay, I think it's a Buddhist uh, saying, it's the only time you should look in your neighbor's cup is to make sure they have enough. Yeah, fucking me. He's the kind of guy that looks in his neighbor cup, neighbor's cup and he goes, oh, wow, you don't have that much. And then he shows how full his cup and goes, look how much I have. Isn't this great? And the guy goes, can I have some? He goes, no. And he goes, that's not very nice of you. And then he starts crying saying, you're not saying I'm a nice person. You're a dick. And it's like, you're not a nice person. You're the dick. And then secondly, like, there's another one. Um, I don't want to get on this too much because I'll just start ranting about how he's a dickhead. Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Leafy or something like that. Some kid named Leafy. I watched the first about two minutes of this kid's video. 
And I gotta say, holy shit. What an annoying prick. And I know people find my voice annoying probably, and I understand that, and I have no qualms with that. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh, no, it's not annoying. But if you're still here, cool. Um, but I, I saw this guy's video, and it was right around the Philip DeFranco lying to all 4.5 million of his fans thing. And this leafy kid decided, hey, I can get money off of this. Why not do that too? So he took advantage of the situation. And he made a video about, like, called YouTube is shutting me down. YouTube wasn't shutting him down. He just wanted money. Um, and what it was, was he got angry about how, you know, he was talking about YouTube taking away ad money and YouTube is this, YouTube that, blah, blah. I couldn't even pay attention that much. It was, his voice was causing my ears to bleed, I think. So, basically, he was being a whiny little bitch. And he was being an annoying, vulgar, whiny little bitch to get money, of course, because that's all that matters to these people. And I thought, you know what, what kind of individual is Leafy? Because you can't judge an individual by one video. So I go into his video history and I see one other video and it gave me the perfect example of him. It says, watch me roast this guy until he's in tears. Okay. So the thumbnail had this kid crying. And I mean, it looked like his feelings were really hurt. And a roast is supposed to be a lighthearted jest and a poke at someone. It's not supposed to be an insult. It's not supposed to bring someone to tears. So if someone were to roast me about how I'm bald... That would be like, ah, okay, it's a characteristic of me. But if you were to roast me and be like, ha, 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 your grandfather died and the family of your friend died yesterday, ha, 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 you're a pile of shit, that's not a roast. You're being a dick. You're being an asshole. And it's like, that's the kind of thing is that this kid is. He's, he's not, he's a bully. He's the kind of person that goes into a high school, makes fun of someone until that person is in tears and hurt, is, and like has their feelings really hurt. And then all the other cool kids laugh at, or not even the cool kids, all the other people who just, you know, want to be with him, start laughing and go, that guy's a dick, ha ha ha, look at that kid, he's he's crying, that little pussy, ha ha ha. And it's like, this is bad, we shouldn't encourage this. He shouldn't get money for his videos. In fact, I don't think his videos should be on the internet. He should be banned off of YouTube. He's a bully. He is the kind of person, like, right now, here in Canada, there's a trial going on where some guy is actually being censored. And he is losing the right to even post his... Because he, he believes, like, he doesn't think gay people should get married or have sex or anything like that. And you know what? Let him talk. Who gives a shit? And he was handing out pamphlets at gay pride parades talking about how, you know, here's why homosexuality is a bad thing. And here's why we should try to steer away from it. And it's all, like, finger quotes, scientifically proven things like, oh, yeah, blood, AIDS. People can get AIDS. And, you know, gay people have AIDS. Therefore, AIDS is gay. Done. Math. Ah. And that's, like, his entire argument. And his argument is dumb as shit. But... The thing is, like, they actually are trying to get him so he can't use Facebook, he can't use any social media, he can't distribute his belief or his, his thoughts to other people because it would be considered, you know, it's offensive. And it's like, normally I, I, I'm against that, but for this leafy kid, I am for it. Take him away. Don't let him bully people. Don't let him be a dick online just for money. Because that's sending a horrible message. And then the last one, and this is my problem with, like, some of the bigger YouTubers... Um, they put on finger quotes acts to like, you know, get the views and that, and it's, uh, one of the big ones, like say, PewDiePie. PewDiePie, apparently it's all just an act, but the act is wrong, I think. His act is literally offensive and vulgarity and just being an asshole. Then all his thumbnails, if you look through them, a lot of them are all like clickbaity thumbnails and clickbaity titles and things like that. And I look at how he acts and I look at how he conducts himself and I think, dude, you got like 45 or 48 million subscribers on YouTube. Granted, most of them are just people who forgot to unsubscribe, probably, but he has that many. And his age range that watch his video are roughly between like 6 and like 10. And I know that because I've talked to some of my students and all my students who used to watch him said, yeah, I used to watch him, then I turned to 12. Or something like that. Like, one of them actually said he's like, oh, I stopped watching YouTube a while, or uh, PewDiePie a while ago because he just all he does is swear. All he does is say vulgar things and do what's expected, and it's, it's not interesting. And it's like, that's that's PewDiePie. And it's, I think, like, because your age range that watches your videos are so low, try doing something different. Like, my niece, or not my niece, my uh, one of my cousins, she's uh, seven years old, and she was here the other day, or a couple weeks ago, and she was watch all they do is watch YouTube. And one of the videos was, like, uh, educational for children kind of video. And it was just, like, it was really annoying and loud, but... It wasn't vulgar and it wasn't offensive, so it's like, oh, that's fine, I guess. But, like, on PewDiePie, it's loud, it's annoying, it's vulgar, and it's offensive, and it's like, oh, you, you actually take all the boxes when you're not supposed to take all the boxes. I, I think you missed the point. And it's just one of those things where it's like, I kind of wish he would actually conduct himself differently rather than just being as offensive as he is. And then you get, like, um, you get other bigger YouTubers, I'm not going to say their names, but, like, one of them I saw a thing was like, here's how much money I've donated or raised for charity. Not donated, but raised. And to me, that's one of those things where it's like, you're... You're literally boasting about something you did that you shouldn't boast about. 
Yeah, that goes from being the, oh, cool, like, you Oof. you uh, donated to charity, neat, to, oh, you donated to charity and you want attention for it. No. And it's like, that's, it's those sorts of things, like, it's, it's that, there, that's how you can see, it. it's a clear ego. It's, it's not him, it's his ego. And all he wants is for people to look and go, you're a good guy. And it's like, you should just be a better person, rather than having to boast about the simple things you've done. But that's why I hate most YouTubers is because it's like, it's just, they're driven by ego. They're driven by money. They're driven by, and I understand the whole like, but they have to sell themselves or they can't make money and then they can't make money. They can't like, shut up. I have a job. I teach guitar. In fact, I have to get ready to go teach guitar right now. And it's one of those things where it's like, they don't understand it. I, don't, I, I think they've been so far removed from the regular lives that their egos don't permit them to understand these simple things anymore and it's it just it's annoying and it's stupid and i think and i hate them and i wish the channels would disappear thanks for watching